So what kind of car does he drive? Truck. Truck. Ford. Ford. No. Uh, a GMC. Ford. He definitely looks like a Lexus man to me. He's just a like He's labor a or journeyman roofer. He's a journeyman roofer. Is his wife rich? He's <laughs> married. <laughs> <laughs> Three kids. Only knows two of them. <laughs> what does he do when he's not working? What are his hobbies, his interests? Drink beer, smoke weed, get high. <laughs> a lot of them are ex, like they used to do drugs and stuff, and they're now they're in the program. That, so. that's, that's why my father looked down upon it, because there was a lot of yeah. drug addicts and convicts and un uneducated people going into roofing. And he was like, well, you graduated, you're not a drug addict, and you've never been to jail, so why the hell are you going into roofing? And I kinda These guys are deciding if they want to become roofers. Through a program called ACET, they're spending four weeks as part of their high school year at the Roofing Contractors Association of BC, taking level one apprenticeship training. We wanted to make a film that rang true for those who are also considering roofing as a career. So we asked these guys if they talked to us about some of the questions they had. Then we took those questions to roofers. Hope you like the video and find it helpful. A typical roofer, uh, uh. there used to be a typical roofer. You know, you'd pick them up out of jail and uh, and drop them off. Uh, at their halfway house at the end of the day, it, things have changed. No, we were just talking about that the other day. I think maybe 15, 15 years ago, it was probably a lot worse than it is now, but no, it's a certified trade now and it's, people take it pretty seriously. There's no drugs, no alcohol. A lot of jobs we can't even smoke. Uh, there's a lot of fly-by-nighters and there's a lot of shady characters in the trade, but not with this company. Well, my tipper will then I have to go home and I spend time with my family, my two little kids and my wife and that, so that's usually my night now. So I'm not a big drinker or anything, so. But what are the questions that you have about what you're going to have to go through in the apprenticeship program? How long the trade would be. How long the Yeah, how, would, how long the thing would go till six weeks, five weeks. Yeah, how long is it till I work? Until I get paid. That's yeah. what I really was thinking about. Will you get a job after? Yeah, will I get, <laughs> yeah, will I get a job after or will I have to look for myself? And uh, will yeah. there be a raise of pay after we complete our first year? Yeah. And how much do you get and stuff? All about money? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is that... Yeah. yeah. On, for, Honestly, for, yeah. for the eight, for, for our ages, yeah. you can... Yeah. It's almost 100% sure that we're all looking into the, the money. money. <laughs> That's why I do it. <laughs> yeah, no, the money's the money's really good, especially now that it's considered a trade. Now that it's a ticket of trade, and you can get your red seal. It's I'm in my first year and I'm I'm doing really good. Yeah, it's really good for three years of school. It's really good. <laughs> it's a three-year apprenticeship combining on-the-job training with classroom learning and applied skills in shop. Students attend school all day for four weeks each year, for three years, completing one level each year. We put on a uh, four ply of VOR, and we're going to put on two ply of glass. But some of the kids have never done this before, very first time, for a lot of them. Is it difficult? Um, it's labor intensive, it's, in, it's dangerous because it's very hot. I think it's just being outdoors, you know, being able to work with your hands and getting exercise while you do it. Even though you're shoveling dirt all day, it's nice. <laughs> it's always something to look forward to as you're starting a roof for a new project. Is to be able to say to your friends, I roofed that. 